survivor tonight after a driver plunged into the Ohio River and died. The vehicle was found submerged in water some 20 feet deep. The victim's cat was rescued yesterday near the scene. And today, another pet turned up in an unusual place. Bob Allen is following these new developments. Bob. Well, Ken, the medical examiner has yet to identify the driver who died after her SUV plunged into the river. Now, today, one of her pets was brought to the Humane Animal Rescue Office. How it survived is a story of courage and determination. He's been given the name Lucky for obvious reasons. Lucky is one of two pets who survived an horrific accident when their owner drove down some railroad tracks on the north side and onto a railroad bridge where her car plunged 70 feet into the Ohio River. The driver was killed and her body was recovered from the wrecked vehicle on the bottom of the river. The cat was also rescued after it was found swimming. But Lucky swam from the vehicle all the way to Bruno's Island. About 100 yards about 100 yards. The combination of the current and the, dia and the, you know, the perpendicular path, he swam about 100 yards to shore. Kevin Pansino, plant manager at the NRG power plant on Bruno's Island, heard about the accident and he also heard about a dog that was seen swimming away. He found Lucky about four hours later near the shore barking. So I went back down off the trestle, started walking along the bank, and sure enough, you know, I could hear him down there uh, barking. Today, Panzino brought Lucky to the Humane Animal Rescue Office, where he was given a checkup. Dr. Donna Hughes says the lovable canine seems yeah. to be in good yeah. health, although he could lose an eye from a previous injury. She's not surprised by Lucky's will to survive. They're just living in the moment, and in the moment, he wanted to make it. Now, at some point, a crane will be brought into the Ohio River to retrieve the wrecked SUV from the bottom. Police have not said what caused the accident. It's still under investigation. They have not identified the driver. And we've also found out if no one claims Lucky, there are a lot of people who want to take him home. Reporting live, Bob Allen, KDKA TV News.